Rachel here from Cheyenne Mountain Library. We are going to be making homemade pasta today. Okay, so I just cleaned this counter and my hands. Uh, very important things when cooking. Um, and the first step of making pasta is to throw your flour on the counter. We're gonna do two cups, one cup. That's a big cup. I didn't, I didn't level that off. So to level off flour, you can just use your finger and go zoop. Um, but I'm gonna do that over the bag. Okay, so that's about two cups of flour. We are going to make it into a little well. Um, and a well is just like a hole in the flour, like a volcano. So like a volcano caldera, that's what that's called. Um, so we're going to make a pretty wide caldera um, to put our other ingredients in. Here we go, widening it. That's pretty good. Um, and I'm just gonna lightly dust the center there. Okay, and we've got our caldera. We're gonna put in three eggs. Um, you want your eggs to be at room temperature. So leave them out for like half an hour before you get started. All right, we're gonna rinse our hands off super quick. And the next step is to add a tablespoon of olive oil. There it is. And we are just gonna do a tiny little bit of salt. I'm just shaking it out into my palm. I've got less than a quarter teaspoon there, dumping that in. Now we are going to take a clean fork. Fork, yeah. And we are going to break our egg yolks and start to whisk these guys. Nice, all right. Okay, so there's tiny bits of flour getting in here and that is totally cool. That is what we want to happen. This fork phase, we do not want to rush because it will make the rest of this thing very much easier. So we are just going to keep getting that flour in there and stirring it as well as we can. There we go, we're getting more. Yep. Getting all that nice, good flour mixed in with this good eggy stuff. Yeah. Nice. Fluffy. Getting fluffy, getting real fluffy here. Okay. Once the fork seems to stop working, uh, that is when we can jump in with our hands. So, here we go. We are going to start kneading this guy. So, my kneading method is I flatten, I fold, I squish with my palms, and do it all over again. And you can rotate it, rotate, fold, squish. We are going to be kneading for a full like seven minutes and then we're going to take a little break from kneading just a breather um and then we're going to keep kneading for another three or four minutes okay okay we are about seven minutes into kneading um and what we want from our pasta dough is really good elasticity so that is its ability to go back to the shape it was, um, you know, just like an elastic band or something. Um, if you stretch it out, it'll spring back. So a way you can test this is by poking it. And so we've got a little bit of spring back there, but we want more. So we've got to keep kneading for a little bit, um, probably four more minutes. And we'll try again and see what happens. Okay, here we go. More kneading. This is fun. Okay, we have kneaded for what feels like forever 
And um, now we have a very, very smooth incorporated ball of dough. We're gonna do that finger test again. Quite a bit more spring break on that time. So now we are just going to roll ourselves into a ball, roll the dough into a ball. Rolling ourselves into a ball would be counterproductive. Pretty good ball. And now we are going to uh, wrap it up in some plastic and throw it in the fridge for 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes. Uh, you can actually go overnight if your forearms are kind of tired. Uh, it might be a good idea because next step is rolling this out by hand. So, um, yeah, we're gonna throw it in the fridge, see what happens. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cut this in half. I'm gonna use a real knife. Okay. Nice and elastic. Okay, so we're gonna cut this into fourths because that'll make it easier to roll out. So we are going to lightly flour our rolling out surface. There we go. And we're gonna get our rolling pin. I've got this kind, pretty classic wood rolling pin, uh, dusty rolling pin. And um, when making flat things, we're just gonna kinda help ourselves out a little bit by flattening by hand, just a tiny bit. Doesn't need to be crazy. And the goal with our pasta is to make it as thin as possible. So this is an area where if you have a pasta machine, um, that is gonna be way easier to do. So you see that elasticity is working against you. It, we are rolling, 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 and then it is shrinking right back up. So we are just gonna keep going. And unlike when you make a pie crust, you're not necessarily going to roll out from the middle in every direction. We are just rolling to get this guy as flat as we can. And it helps to go for a long shape. That'll help you get long pasta. Okay, so we got this guy pretty flat. Now, fold it in half. Okay, keep rolling. Folding it in half again. It's got a nice square. Squares will help us when we're cutting. So, I have made this guy as thin as I could possibly get it. We're gonna call it there, um, cause I don't wanna go insane doing this. Um, and neither do you, probably. So we are just gonna cut this one into long, like fettuccine-ish strips. And a sharp knife will help you, but of course you don't need a sharp knife to cut dough. So you do you could probably use a butter knife. Okay, here's the pasta. Yum, look at that guy. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you how to make a very delicious, very impressive pasta recipe with our handmade pasta. We've got a pot of water on the stove. This does need to be cooked. This is not done yet. Um, so, since it is, however, still in dough form, it doesn't need to boil as long as a dried pasta would. So we're gonna have that go in for um, probably about five minutes, uh, depending on the thickness of your noodles. If you got your noodles really thin, uh, might be closer to two or three minutes, but um, I did not get my pasta all that thin. We are waiting for the pasta water to boil. We are going to juice a lemon. This is gonna be used in our pasta sauce, which is going to be a lemony mascarpone sauce. So it's really creamy, but with the lemon, it's super light and refreshing. Um, so very refined and elegant. All right, so I've just got my lemon here and I'm just gonna juice it. You can use any old juicer. 
doesn't really matter. Got our lemon. This is our mascarpone cheese. Um, I just took the lid and the plastic seal off. So we're gonna scoop all that into this bowl. Just any old spoon will do. Um, so I've seen this recipe made with cream cheese before. I do recommend a mascarpone. Um, it just really elevates the flavor profile. So then all you do is you add in your lemon. Make sure you don't get any seeds in there. Um, and I like things really, really lemony. If you are not a lemon person, might want to scale back on the lemon. Do like a tablespoon, something like that. And you're just going to mix it till it's incorporated. So that's pretty well mixed. And now you can add a little bit of salt. I always tend to go light on salt at this stage because um, the people who are eating it can add the salt that they want if they want more or less salt, then it's not too salty for them. Okay, so that's good. And now we are waiting on the pasta water to boil. Okie doke, now our pasta water is boiling. We can go ahead and throw all the pasta in. Yeah, be careful not to splash hot water on yourself. Okie doke, pasta is ready to strain. And dump your pasta into your strainer, staying away from that steam. We made pasta! Okay, so now we're gonna shake, 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 shake it up. Let that steam cloud rise to the sky. And cold water to stop it from cooking. We're getting the last bit of water out there, and then we're going to dump it back into our pot. Whee! Okay, there we go. And here we have our pre-prepared mascarpone and lemon sauce. We're just going to dump that right in. Yum, yum, yum. Ta-da. Now we are going to stir this up. Okay, okay, pasta goes into the bowl. Look how creamy and delicious that is. Okay, all right, we're gonna garnish. All right, that is pasta and a very easy pasta dish, my friends. I'm going to eat this up and it's gonna be delicious. So this pasta is particularly awesome because it is super versatile. You could make this with shrimp. You could make it with chicken. You could do a veggie thing with like some nice blistery asparagus and some cherry tomatoes, broccoli would be good, onion, garlic, um, use your imagination. This dish is so versatile and so easy to make, so impressive and very awesome. All right, cheers, clink.